Um, governor of um, River State, Governor Simnalai Fubara in the news again. And I think for the good reasons anyway. He did a reshoveling of um, his cabinet where he reshoveled um, certain commissioners, redeployed them to other uh, ministries. Uh, but interestingly, we are made to understand that uh, the one who was um, attorney general of um, the, you know, the state, you know, did not um, accept um, um, his redeployment. He actually turned it down and actually uh, resigned. Uh, the second one resigned also, I think, uh, because he saw um, the, his um, colleague do that. He felt, well, hey, let, me just, let me also do the same. Uh, well, see, you see, I think um, it's now it's good for Fubara because um, Fubara will now be able to uh, breathe. You know, I think this is a let Fubara breathe, you know, decision that they have taken. I think Fubara has the power to, you know, put whoever he likes in different in whatever position or capacity things they can handle and i don't think that he has um, in any way gone against the peace pact that he signed with uh, president bola Tinubu when he warded into the situation between him and fubara but then this only shows that the feud uh, between him and wiki is still there and but then i also think that it is good for him because um he will now begin to have people who are loyal to him, in quotes, uh, people who are working with him, you know, in his government, not people who are working for his predecessor, uh, you know, and in his own government, you know, and uh, to now make matters worse, they are handling key positions, you know. So I think the seat of the Attorney General is a very sensitive seat where we need to have somebody who understands the demography of uh, what the governor, the incumbent governor has in mind, not what his predecessor had in mind and all of that. You can't be loyal to the past in a present government. You can't be loyal to the past in a present government and be active or, uh, let me say, succeed or, let me say, achieve anything good. And it's even detrimental to the success of Fubara himself. So I think it's a very good decision that they have made and... Uh, Sincerely speaking, I wish them all the best in future endeavor if they get to ever, you know, hold any position in River States at all. Because uh, uh, whether you like it or not, people are watching, people are seeing what they are doing and all of that. And so, um, like I said, Fubara is the governor. And that's the truth. And we are all human. Women who are liable to change, you know. Um, we can go in a particular direction, but then... If we get to a point and we begin to see senses, begin to see, you know, some things, we are liable to change and decide to say, okay, we are not going in this direction again. And I think that even underground, people will be talking to them, family members will be talking to them, saying that, look, this person is your boss. This is the person in office now. Well, when he's out of office, you can continue with your shenanigans. But then, for now, this person is in office. And so, you, you owe him your loyalty, you owe him everything. So I see no reason why, you know, you'll be in the cabinet of A and you are loyal to B. How come? Who does that? Do you understand? Well, this is Serious Matters here at Tony TV. Um, I always admonish that you please do help us to share videos with others and all. So drop your comments, make them simple and simple. Let us know what your opinions are with the happenings um, emanating from River State, uh, you know, in the last 48 hours. Uh, I mean, what do you see about the action taken by the incumbent governor? I mean, he did not disobey the pact, you know, that he signed with Pers where when President Bola Ahmed warded into that situation. And so if he is now taking decisions that he feels will help his administration, I don't think anybody should hold him liable. And of course, their, their Oga, their godfather in quotes, I believe um, uh, he done the same And like I would always say, power is transcendent. And you see this life that we have, we know we get them. Um, the person we get them, um, he calls, say he need them um, any day, any time. And our prayer, we say we know go we'll go before our time. He no go call us before our time. And when he call us, may we get something to show. And we think we go show now, good thing. You understand? Well, this is still Serious Matters once again. Please don't forget to share our videos with others. Drop your comment. Make them simple and simple. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Olukunle Ibrahim. God bless you. Bye-bye.